So you're two weeks into the course. Your folders are all worn out from being erased. Your records, which you're being so careful of and so conscientious of, are a mess. Things have been erased. You're using pencils, so it isn't quite as bad as it might be, but your records are a mess. Everything's scratched out. They're, t they're torn and they're tattered, and you're tired, and you've got a lot in your mind. The administrative aspects are not, not a huge issue. Next, two weeks into the course, your books are filled up. They've done their job. You need to start using your computer system. This might be a good time to find help. The old um, Apple program called Making a Grade is absolutely wonderful. It's self-explanatory. With any kind of luck, it'll be as simple as this. Open the package, class name, social studies one, first student. Type in the first student's name. Type in the second student's name. Take it right, take it right off of this list. Type the names in, type the names in. Don't worry about the order. The first ones will be in alphabetical order. And then they won't be in alphabetical order. Don't worry about it. Go through, type in the names, type in the names. When you're done, go to the next one. Social Studies 8, type in the names, type in the names. So you have five classes set up in the program. For each class, alphabetize it, and then print out the list. Class 2, alphabetize it, print out the list. Class 3, alphabetize it, print out the list, etc. So that now you have five alphabetized lists, which will be pretty close to your final class roster. Okay, so you have five lists. You need to think about your grade book now. Your grade book will be um, a big error that people make is they try to crowd the grade book too much. So use at least two lines and even three lines. Many grade books are set up with three lines per student. If they give you one like that, go ahead and use it. If they don't, take the grade book that they give you and look and see if you can use it the way it is. If it's one line per student, just re-grid it out with, with three lines per student. Just re-grid it out with three lines per student. You're going to probably need two pages per classroom. Put a tabby. Do this all at once. Now, you've got five sections. Put on five tabbies. First tabby, reading one, skip a page. Second tabby, skip a page. Third tabby, skip a page. Fourth tabby, skip a page. Fifth tabby. Plenty of room in the book, so don't worry about it. And um, go ahead and write the names for the respective classes in the respective groups. And um, I would take the time to transfer the information from your existing gradebook into the new one. Just It's two weeks worth of work, and you go, oh, that'll be really hard. No, it's not that hard. Just do it. And um, don't worry about the computer for now. Okay, so get this up to date. You've got your five tabbies. You've got all your students in it. Students will still drop out, and students will still appear. When they drop out, just ignore them. When they appear, just add them to the end of the list. And don't fuss with them. That's it. You're done. Administratively, you're moving forward. Two weeks, on, two weeks into it, and you're moving forward. It's about, the work I've given you is probably like, maybe, if you're good at computers, probably maybe an hour.